the field of mathematics make uh, the counting problem in the elementary. Let me give you a simple example to illustrate these cases. So suppose we is align the three dimensional projective space. So it can be defined by two linearly independent linear equations. And the two coordinates of this line is just a point in the three in the five dimensional projective space. And the two variety of these lines is just um, this hypersurface. So every point in this hypersurface uniquely determine a line in the three dimensional projective space. And uh, of course, in literature, this is just famous for um, the two coordinate online just called the critical coordinate. And uh, we should uh, remark here that um, to consider the, uh, the, the two coordinates and the two varieties for projective varieties. But uh, all these things have been uh, defined for affine varieties, but uh, for affine varieties, the two varieties may be not uh, may not be projectively close. But uh, we can so it it, it is a contractible set. So in the formula, um, we consider uh, the differential two forms and partial differential two forms for affine differential varieties. And uh, uh, here the space for the, uh, so uh, since the differential algebra geometry is the um, generalizing our um, algebra geometry to the past, to the differential equation, so it is natural to uh, generalize the two forms and the two varieties to the differential case. And uh, I work on differential two form in the ordinary differential case can be regarded as the beginning of such work. Um, so here uh, we are missing some um, basic theory about the differential two forms. Here, um, the basic differential affine space is just uh, is the affine space defined over a sufficiently large universal differential field of characteristics there, zero. And suppose we is a differential variety, a irreducible differential variety of differential dimension B and the uh, order H. That means the coaxing polynomial of this irreducible differential variety should have this form. And uh, give D plus one generic differential hat place. Generic means all the coefficients U and Z are differential infinite. And we consider uh, this set, this this, um, the set F is the set of all the coefficients of the d plus 1 to the power of um, differential hyperplanes such that we and this d plus 1 hyperplanes have a non empty uh, intersection. And you see the dynamic intersection theory, we proved that the coating closure of this set is irreducible or coating. So why do you say they're, they're delta hyperplanes? They're just hyperplanes. Yeah, they're just hyperplanes. Uh, sorry? Is it differential right here? No. Why do you say that they're different they're delta hyperplanes? They're just it's not both. Uh, delta means uh, the base are uh, um, differential variables. Why why are <coughs> uh, uh, differential variables and the new are differential indeterminate? What? Sorry? I mean, for the yi, they are differential variables. And uh, all the coefficients are differential indeterminate. I don't understand. Do you understand? Uh, no. They're just hyperplanes. They're just like that. Yeah, they're just 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 hyperplanes. It's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. OK. Uh, you mean just for generic it's coefficients of differential are greatly independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. 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 what you mean. It's, 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 it's not wrong. Yeah. 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 The geometry, the points are differential. Yeah. Yeah. Points. Okay, maybe. Uh, 
Uh, just go on. Yeah, just go on. You're okay. Okay. So, um, by the characteristic set measure, we know that a unit be reducible polynomial f such that the coating closure of this set is just the um, general component of this polynomial. And uh, we define this polynomial to be the differential tool form of this one. So this is the definition of differential tool form. And the differential tool form enjoys a lot of interesting properties. And in particular, it can characterize um, the certain environment of differential varieties. For example, um, the, the order of the differential tool form is equal to the order of the variety itself. And uh, we also saw that the differential tool form is differentially homogeneous of the same degree in uh, the coefficients that are in this hyperplane. And we call, uh, we define this uh, homogeneous degree to be the differential degree of this hyperplane. <coughs> and also we give the policy product formula. So the differential tool form can be factorized as the uh, linear combination of uh, the product of linear factors. And uh, um, the coefficients of these uh, linear factors, if we consider them as a point in the n dimensional affine space, they are the only common points. First, it is the generic point of this variety. And also, it lies in L1 to L D is D generic differential hyperplanes. And this is uh, actually this is L degree hyperplanes. This is the difference. And uh, these G points are the only common points in uh, V and uh, the D generic differential hyperplanes and also this H uh, L degree hyperplanes. And then we define this G to be the linking differential degree of this variety. And this, uh, the last property gives, um, so, so if, D, if we're given D plus one differential hard planes with passing through, uh, uh, with passing through capital, then it uh, should be uh, so the differential two forms should vanish at the coefficient of this D plus one hard planes. And uh, this is the properties of the differential two form, and uh, we also saw that if uh, differential polynomial F enjoys these four properties, then it should be um, it should be the differential tool form for a certain differential variety. So it is a necessary and sufficient relation for a polynomial to be the differential tool form of a certain variety. So now we have uh, several invariants for differential varieties. We define a differential variety to be our index DHGM. Uh, if it is of differential dimension D, order H, uh, this is a differential degree G and the differential degree F. So with the theory of differential two form, we uh, introduce the two new environments for differential varieties. And we also have definition for differential cycles. It is a finite formal linear combination of Irreducible varieties of the same coating polynomial. <coughs> so here, unmixed means they should have the same coating polynomial, the same differential dimension and order. And the differential two form of this cycle is um, is the product of the other differential two forms of their irreducible components with the corresponding. Um, corresponding multiplicity. So with the differential two form, it is natural to define the index for differential cycle. 
And uh, like the algebra case, the differential tool form can uniquely determine the uh, differential cycle. Uh, so we define the coefficient to uh, the we, we take out the coefficients of the differential tool form of the cycle and uh, regard it as a point in the higher dimensional differentially projective space. And we call it the differential tool coordinate of this different uh, of this differential cycle. So with the differential tool form we give the coordinate representation for differential cycles. So now we consider all the differential cycles of uh, this phase three index. Um, we will use this set to denote the, uh, the set of all the differential to coordinates of, uh, of differential cycles of this index. So if this set is a differentially contractible set in the uh, in the differentially projective space, then this set is called a uh, differential tool relative for uh, of index DHGM. And, we, and, uh, if the, and uh, in this case, we call the differential tool relative big data. So if the differential relative uh, differential tool relative exists, it gives the parameter space for uh, differential cycles. So in our paper, we prove that for t is equal to 1, that means the leading differential degree equal to 1, the differential tool relative exists. And the proof is, uh, the proof there is constructive. That means uh, following the proof, we can do the defining equations and mean equations for the differential tool relative. But uh, unfortunately, the proof cannot be generalized to the general case. Um, the, the basic point is we, uh, we, we just said we give a necessary and sufficient condition for a polynomial to be the differential tool form of certain uh, cycle. And we need to do elimination of variables to get a relation just in terms of the coefficient of the uh, differential tool form, the polynomial f. But uh, when t is greater than 1, the proof fails uh, because we don't have a, a mixed elimination method. Then, when I visited Tom in Berkeley, Tom, um, James, and I finally uh, solved this problem by showing that for all BSDM, the differential tool rankings exist. And the proof is a model theoretical proof uh, where we use the parameter of the university <coughs> model theory of differential fields. And uh, the classical algebra tool rack is the theory of differential characteristic set method and uh, the algebraic characteristic set method. So the next natural question is how about parcel differential tool forms and parcel differential tool rackets? So now we move to the parcel case. First is the quasi uh, generic exaction theory in parcel differential algebraic geometry. Uh, this is a basic notation for the parcel case. Uh, we, we suppose a delta is the set of M derivative operators. Here, um, M is supposed to be always to be greater than 1, so it cannot be, uh, it doesn't contain the ordinary case. Theta um, is the the set of all the differential all the derivative operators, and we use this sub t sub less than or equal to t to mean the set of all the different uh, derivative operators of order bounded by t, and the order the order of the 
tour to the operator in justice number. And here, unlike the audio case, uh, the audio case, AA is the uh, fine space. We consider the differential of fine space over a dark uh, universal differential field. Or maybe suppose it is big enough. And we F is a uh, uh, is our ground field. It's a sub-differential sub field of this U. And uh, we consider the differential polynomial when the n differential variables, y1 to yn. And uh, we use this power um, an to mean the algebraic of fine space in terms of the variables yeah, these variables. These, these variables are the set theta y z of order bounded by L. And for uh, element A, we use this notation to denote the set of all the derivatives of A with order bounded by T. And the uh, nebula L uh, maps a differential point to an algebraic point. But uh, it should uh, satisfy this uh, differential uh, relations. And uh, suppose W is a reducible dark variety, and BRW is the direct closure of this uh, the nebula LW. So, in terms of the differ uh, differential ideals, we suppose I is a differential ideal. Delta from delta ideal.
So when the when the quasi generic differential polynomial our order s contain all the differential monomials of order s and the bounded a certain bounded degree, it becomes a generic differential polynomial. So it is fancy in that sense. And uh, when L is generic, uh, yeah, this this the above result of course holds. And uh, this actually was proved by uh, James <coughs> in 2015 paper on um, botany theorem. And uh, I want to speak, uh, yeah, your proof is uh, in terms of model theoretical terms that I cannot follow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I want to speak some words uh, about my proof. This proof is, uh, uh, is uh, quite elementary. There, we just use the algebraic specialization theorem. Not a, we don't need the differential specialization theorem, just the algebraic one. And uh, also, just to use the uh, differential characteristic set method and the algebraic characteristic set method. And uh, the key importance is to prove this idea equals this idea. And uh, all and uh, yeah, this is uh, reduced to the differential. Actually, this is also the algebraic. Uh, uh, it's uh, pure al algebraic. And uh, once you have proved this result, and uh, and the proof, these variables are the parameter sets. Uh, are among the parameters of Z T, then used by the definition of protein polynomial, you can compute it. This is just to the algebraic dimension of this ideal because they are equal, so it will equal to this algebraic dimension. And uh, since these variables are among the parameter set, so if you put these variables into the coefficient field, the algebra dimension is just reduced by the number of these variables. So, so it is a simple proof. And I, I'm happy with this proof because, uh, in, because in the ordinary case, actually when we, uh, we prove this theorem, for m equal to 1, we do separately for the order and the dimension. For the order part, we use a lot of uh, results like a primitive element in terms of quotient results about uh, the primitive element theorem in terms of relative isomorphisms and also coins result on, uh, on his paper order and dimension, so the proof is very, in very dense, lasts for more than four, people, four pages. So, but now from the point of view of quotient polynomial, it can be greatly simplified. So we didn't find it, we didn't prove it from the point of view of quotient polynomial where we consider the ultimate case. But to just to prove it, to prove it from the purely differential. So now we talk about partial differential two points. We suppose I is a prime differential idea of that dimension D, and uh, also introduce D plus one generic that have points. So now delta is also only from the uh, it is also different from the ordinary case. Because here you I they also have uh, M derivation operators. And we consider this exact same idea. This idea is just generated by the original plan differential idea and the D plus one generic difference have planes. This idea is generated in the differential polynomial ring with variables u i z u i and y. So z i is the exact same 
of this idea of with the polynomial, the differential polynomial one. But unlike the original case, then I may not be the general component of some polynomial. So this is the this this makes me nice. So this example is uh, when m equal to two, n equal to one. And in this example, then I is the set to the idea of two um, two polynomials. But if if this idea is the set to the idea for some reducible polynomial f, of course if it is it is always reducible. Then we call this polynomial f to be the differential two form of um, the prime differential idea or its corresponding differential variety. And uh, in this case, we see the differential two form exists. So the problem is, for these kinds of prime differential ideals, their um, differential two form exists. Let's see the differences <coughs> between characteristic set and the fitting polynomial. So Kuchian give a necessary and sufficient condition for the prime differential ideal uh, being the general component of some polynomial. Now the necessary and sufficient condition is in terms of the Kuchian polynomial. And uh, we give the following proposition. Suppose I is a prime differential, the characteristic set our prime differential idea with respect to some other ranking, and uh, suppose the Kuchian polynomial is of this form. Then <coughs> the characteristic set consists of a minus b polynomials, and uh, the leaders of this characteristic set is this set. So that means for each difference, for each leading differential variable. That is just one differential polynomial, with the leader, uh, with the leader in the um, derivative of this leading variable. So that means <coughs> A should be of this form. This uh, A1, A2, A1, 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 A1. So this, actually this, uh, a minus b minus one polynomial should be pure algebra, and uh, this is a uh, partial differential polynomial of order as as it just uh, uh, appears in the Cousin polynomial. And the theorem is for if a prime differential idea with Cousin polynomial in this form then the differential two form of, of the ideal exists. This is a simple example. And um, we can take then to the difference, the unnecessary and sufficient condition for the differential two form exists as uh, then to the Cotton polynomial should be of this form. So, we need to show, we have showed that this is a sufficient condition, and the conductor is also a necessary condition. Uh, and uh, yeah, of course, this, uh, you see in the generic intersection theory, this conductor can be reduced to the case d equal to zero. So when d is equal to zero, suppose it is a uh, generic point of the prime differential ideal i and the beta is such a uh, point, such element. And um, if uh, the Cousin polynomial of beta is of this form, we ask whether the Cousin polynomial of A should be of this form too. Now we can definitely true but uh, my proof has some gaps. You may think of the constant polynomial of H and H should be equal. 
actually, in the ordinary case, they always in pop. But in the partial case, it is used. in general, it is not true. And this is a complete example. In this example, it is a generic point of this uh, differential variety. It is easier, it is easy to compute the Cotton polynomial H it is of this form. And uh, with the help of Maple, the software of a symbolic computation, we compute the we can compute the Cotton polynomial of H actually is of this form. So they are not equal. But uh, the conjecture when it has this form, this should be equal. So now we see the, uh, we have a look at, at the properties of the differential two forms. So from now on, we always suppose I is a prime differential ideal with that, with the Cousin polynomial in this form. Okay. So by the theorem before, the differential two form of this ideal is H. And uh, we prove that the order of the differential two form is equal to the to is equal to S at this here. And uh, the, differential, the differential polynomial is that homogeneous of degree R in the coefficient set of each differential hyperplane in each U I. And we define this R to be the delta degree of I. Also, this is like the our case and also the ordinal differential case, the, this means the, the, the values of the differential two form gives are necessary and sufficiently conducive for V and the, the B and D plus one differential high planes have a non exception in some sense in the sense of putting closure. And we also give with the Poisson hat product formula. So unlike the ordinary case, uh, here we used to fix an uh, ordinary ranking on the UI and uh, pick up the number of the of the number of F. Here um, the Poisson hat product formula is of this form. It is the product of G linear factors. And also the the coefficient of these vectors gives a generic point of the original differential variety and also it lies in the D generic differential hypothesis. And uh, also G has some has the geometric meaning like the ordinary case. But uh, I think it's somewhat messy uh, here because we have to fix an order and uh, And uh, also, this makes uh, it difficult to define dividers of differential cycles in the parcel case, because you cannot, uh, for F, F1, F2, or order, or order, of the same order as you, you cannot have sense. Uh, in general, this is not true. true. But in ordinary case, it's true. So we can not define the difference of cycles here. So let me. So suppose. When we consider the set of all the reducible differential varieties of cosine polynomial in this form and the differential degree r, we want to show this is a differential histological set. And uh, the technique is like we, what we did at, at the, as we did uh, uh, in the ordinary case. In yeah, our work with the Tom and this. So we also use algebra to write prime and try to the differential of so this step. And we need to give the candidate algebra to write this we consider. Uh, used 
space lemma to bound the degree of the candidate algebra to lattice. And also give the definition for the useful parameters of a parameters on the small lattice. Uh, an eligible variety is probably uh, admissible if the the differential point of this okay yeah the differential this means the differential point uh, differential point is density close is close is dense in the variety way and uh, a dominant component is a uh, is a component of the differential variety defined by the <coughs> defined by the defining equations of the algebra variety. So W1 is differential. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So so my time is just five minutes. And, uh, for a this lemma gives um, it says uh, if we is reducible promising and admissible of uh, eligible dimension, this one. And uh, in the case f is weak and zero, we need the projection of a way to be a dimension D plus one. And uh, this if we uh, if the algebra variety we satisfy these conditions, then this theorem shows that it has a unique dominant component. And uh, the unique dominant component of, um, of the variety W should be of this form. The coating polynomial should be of this form. This is just what we need. So, so here we give a condition when the algebra variety can uniquely determine a differential variety of the coating polynomial um, as desired. Okay, this effect of our definability. So we know relative to the algebra closed field, the dimension closure, dimension degree, and the reducibility are all definable in values. And uh, also relative to the differential closed field, the condition of mutable is also definable condition. So this is the main result. We consider the, uh, the unit of these algebra two varieties and then consider a subset of it. And these conditions can, these conditions uh, will satisfy that the, the, the algebra two coordinate A can uniquely determine a differential, a differential, or a differential variety in this set. And then we first prove that V1 is a differentially contractible set. And uh, V1 and V set have a, uh, as if we regard them as functors from fields to, to the, from the, the category of fields to the category of sets, they, uh, as functors, they are uh, naturally asymmetric, asymmetric to each other. So this summary. So we introduced the quasi dynamic section theorem in the puzzle case, and also define the irreducible, uh, define the puzzle differential two forms for uh, irreducible differential varieties of coating polynomial in this form. And give these properties, and also so this, the set of all the unit. Okay, that's this set is a differential contractible set. And the further problems I want to consider is, of course, the conjecture. So my tool has some gaps, but uh, I hope it can be fixed. And the next problem is um, give a contractive proof of the existence of differential two in the ordinary case. Okay. 
So we have time for one quick question. Yeah. Uh, will you? I, I just missed something. Were you assuming is S always uh, at least one? Or not? I I'm all S. S. S should be yeah. Of course it should be. Oh no no. I have sometimes of. S could be zero. Could be but zero. Then what, okay. hap what happens in the intersection theorem if you take the differential points of a, a degree bigger than? One algebraic curve and intersect with hyperbole. Um, because you get five the points. You mean for the differential to uh, for the differential relatively and the second with a pure algebraic curve? Yeah. Um, you get the definition. But, but it's but, but it's over oh I see it's over the the field generated by the coefficients but not its algebra. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I okay. So the so the intersection is maybe is maybe not absolutely useful. Yeah, yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, and uh, we'll start again at four forty-five.